but I just love jigging. I don't want to stop. What's going on guys? We are here in sunny Florida. To be more specific, we are in the West Coast, Tampa area. We're at this really awesome inlet that has multiple piers here. Like jetty, rock structure, bridge structure, pylon structure to fish. There's a lot of different structures and a lot of different ways to fish the structures. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest methods and the most guaranteed methods for you to catch fish. And it's actually really simple. It's a lot simpler than you think. And it doesn't require a bunch of different tackle, a bunch of different anything. It's very cheap, efficient, and um, action-packed. So, let's get to it. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna try, I mean, we're gonna try jigging over there. If nothing, we're gonna start doing some live line shrimp. Yeah, check for some stuff here later too, and live stream under the dock. Okay, great. Let's do this. So I'm here and it's low tide, and I'm gonna start free lining first, just to see what I can get. Here we're going to be trying live shrimp right on these pylons right here. See what we can get. I'm just gonna do this really simply, just a circle hook, 15 pound leader line, and a split shot. And if I catch a big snook, I'm gonna hope that that line doesn't snap. But also the light line allows it to be more sneaky. When you have a really thick line, the fish can see it and they're more weary. First fish of the day. Let's try and increase the size of the fish. Oh, this guy, look at this. Hasn't even lost all his baby teeth yet. Okay, that's the first fish. Okay, getting another shrimp. Fun fact about mangrove snappers, they are experts at stealing your bait. I'm pretty sure that's why my, my shrimps keep coming up halfway eaten. Between mangrove snappers and sheep's head, they're really good at stealing stuff. Can I see the little teeth? Look at the little vampire teeth in there. Out of nowhere. 
Man, I'm just getting my shrimps torn apart. Yeah, you've been through like two dozen at least so far, right? Yeah. Is there anything you can do to avoid that? Mm, not use shrimp. <laughs> shrimp just gets eaten by everything. It's a good thing and a bad thing. So there was a lot of little fish under here, but actually I just kept getting, I kept getting my shrimp stolen or bitten in half, and I don't want to waste my shrimp on that anymore. I did land some nice fish, but I think it's time to switch to another technique. So there's another technique called the Carolina rig, where it's pretty much the same thing, except you've got a swivel and a big egg sinker, and then you use a live shrimp in the end. Let's try that next. So I'm going to put an egg sinker on now, because the current is too fast, I've got to change it up. Uh, Alright, show me what's so, going on. How, how heavy is your weight? Uh, two ounces. Two ounces. I'll say don't go by there. I'll go near the rocks. That's where we usually are. Near up there? You see the rocks? Flounder love to hang around the rocks. Yeah. Alright, so I've got Not a two ounce on the Carolina. Rock, but just uh, two feet away from the Carolina rig with two ounce sinker, 15 pound line, little circle hook. Cast it out by those rocks. Uh, you see the edge of the rock? Try to make it there. Right there, perfect spot. They like that edge of that rock. There we go. And go with the current. And I hold on to it, huh? You hold on to it. Just don't, don't reel it, don't do anything. Just hold on. The current might take you, but just keep going with the current. It's supposed to drift with the current? It's good when it drifts. That's the idea of Carolina rig, or fish finder, they call it another name for it. Because what it does, it goes with the current, and it finds the fish. That's why they call it like fish finder. Ah. Rig. And a flounder bite. What do I what do I expect for that? Uh, flounder, trout. Uh, no, how do I how how does it feel? Is it a oh, very uh, subtle? He's gonna bite. Don't don't set the hook. Give don't it set a couple the... seconds because flounder is tricky. He'd keep it in his mouth and he just decide and swallow. But don't set the hook yet. Just a reel. I repeat the same. What happened? It took the whole thing. Go back on the same spot. Go near the left. Go back on the same spot. It took the whole thing. I saw it. The line go straight. Yeah, I saw that. That was the Carolina? I should have I should have said it a little sooner, huh? Uh, you a J-hook, right? Circle hook. Circle, you don't need to say. It's real. Oh yeah, I forgot. So all these different methods, not all of them are going to work. Some are going to work better than others, and it depends on the day, depends on the tide, depends on the wind. There's a lot of things that it really depends on. And you're going to have to just try different methods. So when the fishing is slow, I like to do live bait by the pier. But when the tide really starts moving in, I like to bring it, I like to start jigging again. And jigging, especially in the west coast of Florida, is really popular using these things called banana jigs or goofy jigs. Jigging is a really great way to weed out small fish. So exactly like I was talking about, there's a lot of small fish biting and stealing my bait from right below us. If I start throwing this jig, little fish can't bite it apart into shreds. It's really the bigger fish that you're gonna be landing with the jigging. And jigging is pretty much my, one of my favorite ways to, to, to catch some quality fish. So I'm gonna fish this for a little bit and see if I can get a fish. For this jig, you're gonna to wanna to cast it out there, let it sink to the bottom, and you're gonna to wanna to feel it hit the bottom. Then you're gonna twitch it up and let it flutter it back down. And you keep doing that all the way through. The reason big fish hit this is because they're territorial, they're looking for a quick snack, um, and it's just a really easy meal for them. So we've got 20 pound line, banana jig, teaser, on a light, medium light rod, but come here. 
I'm gonna put a piece of our special clam on here. You can do clam or you can do a strip of this squid. Here are the slabs. Just something to flash a little bit of color, flash a little bit of scent. I would like the clam because it's red. So I'm gonna put red clam. I'm gonna put it right on the trailer hook like this. And there you go, there's your presentation. Doesn't that look good? It's a pompano. Huh? No, oh my god, it's a pompano. It's a um, it's, it is, but it's not filming me. Here, one second, one second, one second. Okay, guys. Oh, nice pompano. There you go. Aaron! Oh my gosh, nice. That's a good one right there. Good job, good job. Thank you. There you go, guys. Woo. That's okay. a good one. You take a look. Oh, you were jigging, huh? Yeah, I was jigging. Look at that. That's a good one. That's a keeper. That's awesome. Yep. No. So for the for the jig, I, I, we're casting it out, and something that um, uh, that Bushy was telling me is that you don't have to jig it like that. In fact, sometimes it's better to just do quick little quick little hops off the bottom. These quick little hops, they don't move too far, but they go, they, they definitely attract the fish in. Yeah, I got hooked on jigging eight years ago. Eight years ago? Eight years ago. One of those guys that we saw yesterday on the field, uh, he his introduced name? me to jigging because nobody else was jigging here, you know. Well, the only people I knew that were jigging were Vietnamese. Uh huh. And they didn't tell nobody. <laughs> they so didn't they tell would, yeah, they, did, they, they never tell you anything. So, <laughs> I mean, this guy, very nice guy. He saw me uh, doing shrimp one day. I got so happy. I got one pompano. He came to me and said, "I've seen you with your kids here, man. What are you fishing for?" I go, "I don't know, man. I'm going to Florida, whatever bite." Uh -huh. He said, "Listen," and he gave me a jig and a teaser. He said, "Here, take this, put it on, jig it slowly, and tomorrow don't buy more and come and talk to me." <laughs> My That's how first, you got. Yeah, my first cast on the G, my heart was going. That's how you get. That's how you get. Yeah, I went. I went to the bait shop. I bought jigs. I bought teaser, and the next day I was there with nice pole with uh, jigs and everything. He was laughing. He said, "Don't say anything to these other guys that I." Told. The thing is, we're it's not like we're jigging with because when I'm jigging in like Massachusetts or Maryland, I'm jigging with heavy stuff. This is so light. light. So you enjoy this, this is fight. 15 pound line. This is 15 pound leader here, like, and you're getting big fish on it. You're, okay. you're snook, cobia. We stick with 10 usually. 10 pounds. Pound, yeah. Huh? Now we can pull cobia. We can pull snook. I got keeper cobia on the same rod. Uh, snook, of course, big snook, redfish. I'm talking about big fish that people use like what 30, 40 pound main uh -huh. line and like 50, 60 pound leader. I got them in 20 pound leader, only 10 pound main. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean. And it's all on the jig. It's all on the jig, yeah. If you work it right, trust me, you get a big fish out of this. And you, I'm lucky to have found you to, to show me how to do. Anytime, brother. You know, I, I really appreciate yeah. it. I hope soon visit in your area and you show me some. Oh, I'm gonna put you Absolutely. on some fish. Tips and tricks, yeah, I'll know that. Okay.
You are right, that combination is a good color combination, Bushy. Oh yeah, it's a killer. This is his favorite combination, is the green and pink, right? That's a good size too. These are really great eating fish, and this is pretty much what everyone here in, in the west coast of Florida, they're going after. And that was bigger than my first one. There you go. I think Pichon is going to give up on the pumpkin. No. Because Snooper is killing them. You're giving me the good luck today. Four for skipper and zero for fish on. <laughs> oh, it's a jack. Is it a jack? It's a jack. Hey, they're the good fighters too, you know? They're cousins. Oh, look, they're all following him. Yeah, but what's the rest? I seen the sheep. Oh, sheep's head. Look how many sheep's head are there. Whoa. That's Soup, a lot sheep, of shrimp. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Maybe I should throw a lot of shrimp down there. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of them. He let go? Yeah, got off. Okay. Let it go. Easy release. That was a jack, not a sheep's head. I mean, not a pompano, so. We're good. There you have it. Today we used a bunch of different methods for fishing, all of which are, are very great methods and very reliable methods, but like I said before, it really depends on the weather condition, the water condition, and what the fish really want that particular day. And you choose your method based on these conditions. All of them work. There's many, many different ways to catch fish. Which one is the best for the conditions today? That's the question. Anyways, this is my first time fishing this area here. Um, but I wasn't by myself, I, didn't, I wasn't just able to learn how to fish this by myself. There's a lot of locals here that really were, able, were, were very supportive in helping me in my mission of learning how to fish here. Um, one of them being uh, this guy Bushy here. He runs a channel called Fish On Channel. And honestly, that's where I, I initially looked up between him and Thani. I'll include the links in my description, but I watched their videos prior to coming here. That's how I knew what to pack. That's how I knew um, what kind of fish I would be expecting. Um, how heavy my rods, how heavy my line, what kind of lures, what kind of jigs, what kind of rigs. Uh, I watched their channel and they helped me really get me set up. And then I happened to meet them, the, the two guys who showed me, I happened to meet them right on the pier. Um, so anyone who has helped and reached out to us and thank you for being a part of our community. Thank you for helping us make our channel what it is. We really appreciate it. If you, if you want some more help with fishing, we specialize in teaching you how to get on fish. It's, it's not too hard. We want to explain it to you in a very simple way. And uh, I know a lot of you guys out there are beginners. Some of you guys out there are you know, already really good, but we're doing all sorts of different kinds of fishing and there's so many different methods. It's just a fun show to watch. And if you enjoy this video, it would be great if you could push like on the video. It really helps support our channel. Uh, if you really like our channel, hit subscribe. And we have a lot more information on how to catch fish and a lot of other techniques on our website, heyskipperfishing.com. If you want to learn more, visit that. I'll see you next week, guys.